My name is uh, Dr. Kevin Osuri. I'm the Chief Officer of Health in Homabe. Uh, today being 23rd day of uh, May 2023, we are still grappling with uh, the unfortunate uh, disease of cholera in our county and particularly in our sub-county of uh, Suba South, uh, focusing on the Sindo area. And uh, we have not uh, managed yet to contain the disease, but we are realizing efforts, I um, mean uh, results, which are a product of our sustained efforts to try to contain the disease. So this morning, uh, we now have a total of um, 73 cases that have so far been registered in our facilities, with uh, four admissions being last night. Uh, so far we have lost, unfortunately, one patient um, and we have put in place measures to ensure that this uh, disease do not further spread. So we have instituted including public health measures, we have uh, stopped hawking of food and uh, basically operation of uh, eateries in, uh, within the vicinity of the uh, Sindo township. We have also narrowed down to the focus of this disease, which was in um, uh, Wadianga Beach. That's where the focus started. And we have managed to sensitize the public, engage with the uh, beach management units, and several other players in that space, including the Ngao and provincial administration officials. So we have put in place several measures, up to including household tracing, to ensure that we help people in the various households uh, on how to purify their water, ensure uh, using uh, clean water, um, uh, cooking properly and just ensuring that they take food that could not be or is not contaminated. So as a county we have had a lot of efforts uh, together with our development partners, particularly I would want to thank um, MSF who have assisted us to even uh, put in place cholera beds, what we refer to as cholera beds, and as well uh, commodities, acquisition of commodities, drugs, uh, fluids, and so on and so forth, to assist us to manage uh, this unfortunate uh, pandemic that we have now in our county. We are strictly now enforcing the law. You know, previously we have been a little bit lenient, and, uh, you know, we issue notices and guide on just so that we don't totally paralyze economic activity. But uh, we have realized that uh, despite our warnings and our, our letters and, and you know, communications to the various other agencies, including some of our very close, uh, what you'd refer to as people we work with, yeah, uh, we've realized that sanitation is a big problem, not just in Sindo, but other areas as well. So we'll be, we'll be enforcing the law and uh, as you will see, now we are closing um, various, uh, particularly food handling uh, premises that, have, uh, that are not up to standard. And we are mandated by law to do that according to the Public Health Act. So we are going to move in with speed and even those who find themselves in the wrong side of the law will be prosecuted and uh, to make sure that we keep our people safe and generally our environments as well safe to not just to prevent cholera, but also any other uh, possible outbreak that it might be out there.